Abu Azam is a commander with the Free Syrian Army. Here, he shows me his fight against the Syrian government. He and his fighters now face a second war. This one against Al-Qaeda's ISIS movement. Is it more difficult to fight Assad or more difficult to fight ISIS? For us, ISIS. It's more difficult to fight ISIS. Than ISIS. It's not a military thing. When we fight the regime, we are happy. We are prepared to die. But when we fight ISIS, we're fighting fellow believers. But we have to protect ourselves. In the Syrian town of Manbej, an FSA fighter runs with his movement's flag towards a building taken back from ISIS. In recent days, rival rebels have fought heavy battles. Rebel infighting even forced Turkey to close its crossings into Syria. The trucks back up for several miles. In Syria's conflict, border crossings are extremely valuable. On the other side, in Syria, rebels are fighting Al-Qaeda for control of crossings, checkpoints and any other strategic position. Al-Qaeda wants to build up its own power inside Syria. Hassan Sheikh Omar runs a hospital across the border in the Syrian town of Darkush. On Monday, his staff treated the victims of an ISIS car bombing against other rebels. We were surprised. Several days ago, ISIS and the rebels started fighting. We treated many injured people after the car bomb. Our staff struggled to cope. Here, an ISIS convoy in Syria travels in daylight, displaying its black flag. The movement promises not to surrender. Syria's second war may be as brutal as its first. James Reynolds, BBC News, on the Turkey-Syria border.